Welcome to this video where we'll construct a payoff table using the provided information, assuming we have these supply and demand units. To get started, let's create a formula for the first cell that we can copy to the rest of the table. Since the selling price is $4.50, revenue is calculated as 4.5 times the demand amount. However, we need to account for the fact that they can't sell more than they produce. So, units sold will be the minimum of the amount sold and the amount produced. Next, we subtract production costs. Variable cost is 1.6 times the number of units produced plus the fixed cost of 1200. The standard payoff problem usually ends there, but in this case, we can generate additional revenue if there are excess units that can be sold to a food drive. The food drive pays $1.25 for each of the first 400 loaves and gets the rest for free. So the additional revenue will be $1.25 times supply units minus demand units. Now, in the cases where demand is greater than supply, this difference will be negative and we don't want to multiply 1.25 by a negative number. One way to ensure that is to multiply 1.25 by the maximum of this difference and zero. In other words, if this difference is negative, which means demand is greater than supply, we want it to multiply the 1.25 by zero. Note, however, that the food drive only pays for the first 400 loaves. That is, if more than 400 loaves are delivered to the food drive, the bakery will only be paid for 400 units. We should therefore specify that the bakery will be paid the minimum of the excess and 400 units. Finally, we have 35 cents lost sales per loaf. That is, it costs the bakery 35 cents per unit whenever there is shortage. That is, when demand exceeds supply. So we subtract 0.35 times the amount of demand minus supply. But again, this will return negative whenever demand is less than supply. To prevent that, we multiply the 0.35 by the maximum of the shortage and zero. The setup is now complete for the first cell. Now, to copy the formula successfully to other cells, we need to log down some rows and columns. Since the supply amounts are in column B, we will make column B absolute by placing a dollar sign before the B's in the formula. Similarly, all demand values are in row 2. Therefore, we make row 2 absolute by placing a dollar sign before 2 in every appearance of C2 in the formula. Enter. I can now grab the fill handle and drag the formula to other cells in the table. And here we have the complete payoff table. Thanks for watching.